Well, Dr. Bates himself used reading glasses Did for he? some time, which oh, is wow. very interesting. Oh, yeah. Until one day a friend of his says, well, I don't get this. He <laughs> says, you shout about how people should take their glasses off and not ever use them, but you use glasses yourself. Huh. And But Bates at that time thought that his method worked basically for myopia, for nearsightedness, but not for presbyopia. Mm. But he did feel the truth of those words mm -hmm. from his friend, and he was like, mm, I really should do something about this. So he went and started to ask around to see if anybody knew how to cure presbyopia. Mm. And he went to one of his famous colleagues and, and said, you know, who should I go see? And <laughs> that doctor <laughs> said, well, come back in a week and I'll see if I can find anybody. <laughs> he went back in a week and that doctor says, well, there's only one person that might know anything about it, and that's you. <laughs> <laughs> Darn. So, I hate so, when that happens. <laughs> yes. So he was basically you know, thrown back on his own resources, as he said, and uh, started studying it himself. Helped, uh, was helped by a friend of his that uh, he was... He taught that man to use a retinoscope. This wasn't an eye doctor, but it was a, a priest of some sort. <laughs> and you know, he taught that man to use a retinoscope and to check Bates' own eyes as he was trying to focus up close. And so he found that as he tried to focus up close, he actually was focusing for distant. Mm. And he had to figure out how to get it back to the close vision. And it was the same principle, right? It was like his eyes were not relaxed. That's right. right. Is that yeah. what he eventually came to? Yes, he found that he was straining to see up close. And if he used his imagination and imagined that he was looking at something like in smaller detail, he used um, the picture of the Rock of Gibraltar, which had some, some black gaps in it that he pretended were caves. And there were these tiny people walking into the caves. And as he used his imagination going for smaller and smaller detail, mm -hmm. his eyes began to focus. And so he realized that, hmm, okay, there is a change that's possible, and it's just all in my mind.